Central Asia, a crossroads of civilizations, has indeed witnessed a rich and complex history reflected in the diversity of its languages. This region of vast and expansive steppes and towering and majestic mountains is a linguistic mosaic where Turkic, Persian and Mongolic language families coexist with a multitude of diverse minor vernacular languages. Let's delve into some more comprehensive and detailed and even more intriguing aspects of this fascinating linguistic landscape. Hello, I'm Constantino de Miguel. Welcome to another episode of Prime Group. The Turkic language family is indeed predominant in Central Asia, including, for example, languages such as Kazakh, Uzbek, Kyrgyz, Turkmen, and also Uyghur. Although each of these languages has unique characteristics, they share a similar grammatical structure that facilitates mutual intelligibility among their speakers. For example, Kazakh and Kyrgyz, both spoken in nations with vast steppes and nomadic traditions, indeed exhibit significant lexical and syntactic similarity, allowing speakers of one to understand a great deal of the other. In fact, notably, Tajik, the official language of Tajikistan, is indeed a direct descendant of classical Persian and is also distinguished by its use of the Cyrillic alphabet, a legacy of the Soviet era. This variant of Persian differs from Dari and Farsi, spoken in Afghanistan and Iran respectively, not only in terms of writing but also in certain phonetic and lexical aspects that have evolved under regional and, above all, numerous Russian influences, which is noteworthy, especially in particular. The preservation of Tajik in its current form underscores the cultural resilience and cultural heritage of Tajikistan in the face of geopolitical changes. A linguistic enigma are the Pamir languages, a group of Eastern Iranian languages spoken in the mountainous regions of Gornobadakhshan in Tajikistan and parts of Afghanistan, and they indeed represent a linguistic enigma, and they are indeed fascinating. These languages, such as Waki, Ishkashimi, and Tajik, are characterized by their geographical isolation, which has resulted in a remarkable preservation of ancient features that have been lost in more accessible sister languages. Linguistic research in these areas is not only vital for understanding the evolution of Indo-European languages, but also for preserving the cultural heritage of its inhabitants. The historic Silk Road, which traversed the heart of Central Asia from China to Europe, was crucial not only for trade, but also for linguistic and cultural exchange and significant in history and development. Historically, cities like Samarkand and Bukhara became significant centers where the languages of merchants, conquerors and pilgrims mixed. This exchange left various linguistic traces in the region, introducing words and even concepts from languages as diverse as Arabic, Sanskrit and Chinese into the local lexicon. With the advance of globalization, indeed, many languages and dialects in Central Asia face the risk of extinction and UNESCO and other organizations are working to document and preserve these languages, many of which have only a few thousand speakers, such as in order to effectively preserve them. For example, certain Pamir languages and local dialects, in particular such as those in remote regions, experience intense pressure from Tajik, Russian and other dominant languages, highlighting the need for cultural and linguistic preservation efforts. And a few words about Russian in that area of Central Asia. The influence of the Russian language in Central Asia is still considerable, although it has undergone changes since the dissolution of the USSR. During the 20th century, Russian was imposed as the language of administration, education and inter-ethnic communication in that region of Central Asia. Russian persists today as a lingua franca, especially in the cities. Educational institutions and media such as television and other platforms continue to frequently use Russian to obtain a job. Proficiency in Russian is indeed crucial as it facilitates access to job opportunities in Russian companies and in Russia itself. Despite this, there is a tendency for its use to decline, especially among young people and also in rural areas. 
Countries like Kazakhstan are actively promoting the use of Latin-based alphabets, such as moving away from Cyrillic and other measures, which indicates a step towards affirming national and cultural linguistic identities independent of the Russian language and distinct. In the contemporary era, the languages of Central Asia continue to evolve. The influence of English, Russian and Chinese is evident in the adoption of loanwords, especially in technology, science and popular culture. However, these languages also struggle significantly to preserve their structures and vocabularies, which reflect their rich heritage of historical and cultural interactions, resisting and adapting to globalization. And in this way, we indeed come to the end of our journey through the truly diverse linguistic diversity of Central Asia, we invite you to explore more information and additional details on our Prime Voices blog. Comrade Prime Voices, com, if this topic has piqued your curiosity, it would be wonderful to have your support. Give it a like, definitely subscribe, and share this content. We highly value your valuable opinions and feedback, so please feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. I am Constantino de Miguel. And it will be a real pleasure to meet once again in this prime group space. See you soon.